After two previous trips into Woodland Caribou Provincial Park in northwestern Ontario from the Liano Lake entry point in 2009 and 2011, we were back for yet another in 2014. From July 7th to 12th, we traveled 100 kilometers through the heart of the park, traveling from Liano Lake in a large circle route through Kilburn, Paul, Aegean, Wrist, Hanson, Glen, Mexican Hat, and Bunny Lake. We didn't realize it at the time, but this would be the last time we would see our beloved park so green and lush. From 2016 to 2021, wildfires swept through huge sections of Woodland Caribou Park, taking advantage of a huge snowdown blowdown event from 2012 that felled many trees. In 2016, the southern end burned from the Manitoba border to the eastern edge, only sparing the Kilburn and Liano Lake areas. 2018 and 19 saw more central and northern areas scorched. After a few more active fire years, 55% of the park finally burned up in 2021, many areas for the second time in only a few years. Although fire is a natural and necessary ingredient of the boreal landscape, WCPP will not look the same in my lifetime as it did when we first crossed its borders in the early 2000s. After driving the now familiar eight hours to the Liano parking area, we portaged into the park on Monday, July 7th and proceeded towards Kilburn Lake. We portaged a thousand meters into Upper Kilburn Lake before setting up our first camp on an island. This is the nimble boat. On Tuesday, we traveled up the Sturgeon River into Paul Lake, searching unsuccessfully for pictographs before continuing towards the lovely Aegean Lake. It took a while, but we found a lovely campsite there. Oh, it's a campsite? Cool. If you build, like, put the wood outside of the pit. Yeah, no. <laughs> we had fire. We had this thing, uh, that big fire. I think the the uh, it's a family the program. sparks were lighting small fires around the fire. Our destination on Wednesday was the lovely island campsite on Wrist Lake. We canoed north out of Aegean and made short work of the few portages towards Wrist, setting up camp on a familiar island site that we'd visited three years previous in 2011. Give it an avenue of escape here. Well, let's take it. Let's catch it. Let's catch it. Found the rock. <laughs> Everything is going to smell like strawberries for a while.
Thursday was new terrain for us. We went north out of Wrist Lake towards Hanson Lake, completing three rustic portages before finding the incredible pictographs in Hanson. From Hanson, we paddled and portaged into Glen, where we set up camp on a lovely point site overlooking the lake. There's only five more to go. Three more. Yeah, four more. <laughs> Works really good if you get two hands on that sucker. Friday, we paddled and portaged our way to Mexican Hat Lake and then Jake Lake. From Jake, we traveled to lunch where we set up camp in an area heavily impacted by the October 2012 Snowdown Blowdown event that preceded and contributed to subsequent wildfires. I'm gonna go left. Ryan had one on one of our trips. He's, he's strong, like for his legs are quite.
there, boys? Saturday was a short day, traveling from Lunch Lake to East Lunch, and from there through Bunny Lake back to Liano and the parking area to end a fantastic trip. That looked pretty easy. Okay.